Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today it is EDS that we will learn the page number 57 from page number 57 to page number 61. So we are going to learn about different modes of transport and how are they useful to us and um, what are the different modes of transport um, which requires fuel and so there are certain vehicles which don't require fuel. We're going to learn in detail about it. Okay, so let's start with page number 57. All right. So when you look at this page, that is page number 57, it says on the go. You have to cut the puzzle pieces given at the back of the book and paste here. So this is nothing but a car which is near the signal. And when you look at the back of this book, that's your hands-on English, uh, sorry, EBS book, um, you will see the puzzle pieces which are given here at the back. Here, it is all jumbled up. You have to take out the correct pieces and stick it to the page here. So, once you do that, you will see a beautiful car which is standing in the sea. Now, what we learn by this is, now can you tell me where do we use it to travel? Where do you use it to travel? In which place? Do you use it in water? This car, do you use it on land or do you use it on air? And um, yes, obviously this is a car which goes on land. So this is a land transport and can it carry few people or many people yes it can carry many people so we are going to learn in detail about the different type of transport so let's come to page number 58 so we have four different modes of transport that is roadways roadways is the transport where the vehicles go on road railways are the vehicles which go on track the right like a train on the railway track Next, waterways are the vehicles which goes in water, like your ship, yacht, and uh, boat, all these are waterways. And then we have airways. Airways are the vehicles which, like, which travel in on air, in the sky, like your aeroplane, your uh, parachute, and also helicopter. So we're going to learn about um, roadways, waterways, railways and airways. Now the vehicles which travel on land that is roadways and railways are land transport. Some vehicles of roadways and railways and waterways and airways is given here. So let's learn them in detail now. So these are some of the vehicles which travel on land like roadways and railways. So this is a bus, car, train, cycle, electric train and this is a bullock cart. Alright. So these are few of the uh, vehicles which travel on land. Okay. Now here we have vehicles which travel in water. We have boat, ship and a boat. Now then here on page number 59 we have Vehicles which travel in air like your aeroplane, helicopter and a air balloon. That's your parachute. Now there are some vehicles which need fuel to move. Fuel and sense petrol. Now um, those are your two wheelers, your lorries, cars and ships. And there are some vehicles which do not need fuel to move. These are the vehicles which do not need petrol like your bullock cart, cycle and boat. Now on the next page here are some things which you would find it funny in the picture. Now in this page we learnt about different type of transport that is airways, waterways, railways and roadways. Now what are the things which we find funny here you can talk about it like the car is flying in the sky which is very funny car is supposed to be on the land. Cycle is also flying in the sky cycle is supposed to be on the land. Train is on the road, but it is supposed to be on the track. Now, bullock cart has got a fuel tank. No, bullock cart will not have a fuel tank. It runs without petrol. Aeroplane is supposed to fly on the land, but it is on the... Uh, sorry, aeroplane is supposed to fly in the sky, 
but it is here on the land now here if you see this boy is on the road with the boat will will he be able to travel no even the air balloon is in water no the air balloon is supposed to be the parachute on the sky okay rocket is also supposed to be on the sky so there is a lot of things which is very funny here in this picture now when you come to page number 61 here you have picture of different modes of transport now you have this is going to be a homework part you have to write m in the box for transport that carry many people and f for the transport that carry few people okay for many is m for f it's few the first one when you see it is a train yes a lot of people who travel from one city to another from one state to another through train so that is many so we will write the letter m now cycle not more than 2 can travel in a cycle so it is few so i will write the letter f okay similarly you have to write it for the rest of the picture which is going to be a homework part all right in your hands on english book we learn the page number 95 which has to do with the spelling alternate of oi sound in the end of the word so you all know the vowel diff diphthong which we learned in the previous classes which is oi okay this is a vowel diphthong oi generally it is spelled as o y now what happens what is the rule is it is used in the final position of a word and the um and it should always be preceded with a consonant similar to what we learned in the previous class about a the same way oi is also used at the end and it is always preceded by a consonant for example if you see this word b oi boy so b is a consonant oi is preceded with a consonant so let's learn more about the alternate for oi sound through the activity which is given on page number 95 Now here you have to write the number for each picture in the correct box. Now I will read this here. It is b a l l two consonants make one sound. So it's b a l b o i bell boy. Here is a picture of the bell boy. I write number three. Then I have b o i boy. This is a boy number one. Then I have t o i s toys number two. Now let's read the word bank. It is t o i toy, k o i koi, b o i boy, s o i soy, a n j o i enjoy, t a s t r o i desk roy, k l o i cloy, a m p l Ploy, employ, p l loy, ploy, a n n oy, annoy, a l oy, alloy. Two consonant, one sound l. A n v oy, envoy, d a p l loy, deploy, b a l l b o. oi bell boy j oi joy so if you noticed all these words that we read right now they all are preceded by a consonant t c b s a d c a p similar to all of it so they all preceded by the consonant now this part of it is going to be your homework you have to tick the picture that has the oi sound in it okay So take it. This part is your homework. Parents, while your children learn about different means of transport and uh, how many people each vehicle is able to carry, or while they learn about the spelling alternate for the oi sound at the end of the word, while they are learning more words related to it, kindly take a video and send it to the school WhatsApp number. Homework will also be sent to your number. Thank you.